all right guys welcome back my name is mehul and in this video we're gonna be creating a little fading effect fade in and fade out so that we can use the animation again and again so i'm gonna go ahead and say this is instead of move ball move ball this is fade in ball and fade in right and i'm gonna have a similar button which just says fade out fade out right fade out ball whatever all right, so once we have that in place, what I really want to do is let me just go ahead and get rid of this. Hopefully you have now seen and understood how this all works. So I'm going to say this is opacity, opacity now, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it an opacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of functions here, as you might have guessed by now, fade in ball and fade out ball. So what these functions would really do is just change this opacity from one value to another. So you see that the thing is, our view depends on whatever the value this opacity variable contains, right? It does not really care whether the animation has ran or maybe if it is running or whatever is happening. So if I do something like animated dot, uh, um, you know, for example, let's say I go with timing now this time opacity and to value i want it to go to one duration is a second and i want to use native driver yup every time if i can and i'm going to start this so it changes my opacity to whatever it is not really zero whatever it is to value one right and a similar thing can be said for fade out as well but this time i want to change it to whatever opacity is to value zero and obviously i want to use native driver so if i go ahead and run this reload this bad boy only if it would allow me to if i click on fade in you see i get the circle faded in and fade out would take it out of the view but if you see that if it is already fading in and if i fade in again you see there's not really um, any unexpected behavior going on now why is that well just like i said you that when you start animating a particular value it does not really care where it is at the moment it will start animating the value to that particular value to the value you have given right so this is why when you do fade in it comes to life just like it is and fade out brings it out of life so fade in fade out fade in fade out you can play it with it all along all day so yeah that's that's basically you're gonna create a very stupid fade in and fade out ball game and nobody's gonna use it but that's a start so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one really soon